obviously we, we have a, a more experienced squad, which is uh, which is a, a great help um, to how uh, you know one of the world's best sevens players um, over the last few years, Alvin Otieno back uh, Buffer is is a big uh, a big plus for us. He's a little short of uh, of sevens match fitness, but just his presence has, has been a huge boost. Uh, Brian Tanger is is back in uh, after his stint with the Simbas. Um, again, a player who I understand was was with the Shujia previously. He's brought an energy to the team which we're very happy with. Uh, and then we have the two debutants, uh, John Koff, who uh, I think many of you will know from his, his play with the Simbas, um, a really big, powerful prospect. Again, his, his seventh fitness um, is, is, is maybe not where it needs to be, but um, he's a very talented player. Um, he can play forwards and backs, uh, and he's a uh, a good, a, a good substitute for Vincent Onyala, his uh, his compatriot in the in the Simbas. Um, probably the name that's that's least um, known to to most of Kenyan followers will be uh, Floyd Wambiri. Um, he's a player that uh, I spotted on the national circuit, um, playing for Daystar. Um, a very exciting talent. Um, we're not 100% sure he's he's quite where he needs to be, but. I think the experience of going to such a tournament will help him in his development. Uh, all the technical staff and the other players are, have been very impressed with, with, with Floyd and, and his development. Um, and I think for all of you, it'll be a, a name to keep an eye on for the future. It's, uh, it's a stronger squad. For once uh, since in, in my time since I've been in Kenya, I've had to leave players out as opposed to just about making 13 players. So um, you'll notice that uh, that Tabu is, is missing. Um, unfortunately, he had some family issues over Christmas uh, that stopped him from, um, from uh, attending training. Uh, and so he's, uh, he's in the background waiting for his opportunity to step back in. Um, Johnny Olindi uh, has missed out on this trip. Um, again, you know, uh, it, it gives an idea of, uh, of a, a competition for places. So um, I'm. Not just me, but uh, I think the players themselves and the and the other technical staff are, are happy with with, with the name. Come on, if you're not successful in the in the previous tournament, the draw for the next tournament usually puts you in a tough place, and we're paying the price in Hamilton for our um, you know our lowly finish in the in the last leg. We're in the group of death, uh, Samoa, who um, is our first up there, the champions from Cape Town. And then Fiji, who, who, who were the team everybody wants to avoid, plus France, who one of the tier one nations. So we have a, we have a, a, real, um, a real strong pull that, that's going to uh, test us to the max. The thing I, I, I just said to the players is, you know, those three teams will be thinking, oh, you know, Kenya that is a team we want to avoid. Even though results haven't been perfect for us given lots of the issues off the field, we rarely lose by more than one or two scores. It's, it's usually a hard game whoever we play. And we proved in the last tournament, drawing with Australia, pushing Fiji within a couple of points, um, you know, that we can almost beat in Ireland, that we can, we can match it with the best teams. If we can get consistency, then we can, we can start to, to, to show the real Kenya.